welcome to Wendy and Ria's Art. In and this is the second abstract with the graphite first layer that I've done. Now I've given this one here, oh, I think at least five sprays with the Spectra Fix. So you can see that it has, has bled, um, which is fine for me because I quite like that look in the, in the underpainting, but um, if I'd done some graphite work on the top of my abstract and that happened, I probably wouldn't be as forgiving. So let's see now. So I'd say I've now done enough, but as I, as I said, I did really light fine mist sprays and it's still activated or reactivated. So yeah, look, you know, the smell, smell side of it's great and I'll probably continue to use the Spectra Fix for uh, underlayers, underpaintings, first layers, that sort of thing. But I think on the final layer, I'd be giving it a second thought. Okay, now I have here a baby python snake skin. That's the rest of him. <laughs> That's the tail end. So I've, I've chopped, chopped it in half and I'm just, just going to use the, the top half of him. But I'm going to use matte medium to fix that to my abstract. So this abstract is basically, oh, it's like a red center, earthy nature colors. Um, I really love the blacks. So I'm not really a black person, but I'm really liking the look of these thick black lines and you know soft grays coming off them. I'm, I'm really liking that at the moment. But let's get this snake skin on, first of all. Let me just get some paper towel. Okay. okay, so first thing I need to do is put some matte medium down under where the snake skin is going. So, okay, the graphite uh, is lifting, yep, that's a shame. I was hoping that product was going to be really good. Hasn't worked out that way, but anyway. do is put the matte medium over the top and try and get rid of as many wrinkles as I can. It's fairly stretchy the old snake skin. I might have too much here. Might be I'm not going to stretch out further than I thought. That's okay. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's okay. So I'll have a little bit left over. Make sure I've got plenty of medium there. Yeah, that that graphite really is. <laughs> I put a stack of um, 
put a stack of coats on it on this one just to be sure Okay. Oh, it's coming. Okay, that bit of graphite there is okay. Just, um, I don't know how many coats they expect you to put on it. <laughs> I had at least, I reckon, half a dozen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just cut this little bit away okay. I'm just going to set this piece on the paper towel whoa nearly had all the water flying <laughs> sorry um, because once the matte medium dries, I should be able to use that then to um, put it on something with the glass. Yeah, I should be able to then use it. I can untwist it without <laughs> fiddling. Okay, let's just see what happens with that. All right, so let's just. I just don't, I don't want it to come off when the tape comes up, that's all. It's going up the edges. Okay. All right, so I'll let that dry and then I'll be back. Okay, so I think this is dry enough. And it looks amazing, I have to say. It looks amazing with the black marks underneath. It looks like a real python skin. So my next dilemma is what color to making. Um, it would be super realistic if I left him as he was and then did the colours around him, to be honest. But um, I was going to put the transparent red oxide over just to really highlight the skin, which I'm going to do because it, it really, yeah, it brings it up. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not going to use red oxide. Let me grab something. I've used this before and I know it works super well and looks amazing. So, quinacridone nickel as I gold. Of course it is. <laughs> um, from, from golden, it's the most beautiful color. And on the snake skin, it looks, well, I think it does. In my opinion, it looks amazing. So, let's get a brush. And I'm using the high flow. I want it to be fairly liquidy. 